search teams are still looking for signs of life after the deadly mudslide in Montecito. Teams are sifting through the rubble and clearing home after home, but time to find survivors is running out. Here is the latest at 10. 17 people killed, another 17 still missing, 28 injured, 100 homes destroyed, another 300 damaged, and the 101 will be closed for several more days, at least until Monday. A very common problem we have with many natural disasters, be that Hurricane Katrina, be that uh, wildfires, whatever, people don't actually internalize the risk. They say things like, never heard this before, didn't know this was possible, all of this was predicted. Um, in Montecito on January 9th, the risk was quite real, and the warnings have been going out for days and days, and most of these folks, affluent, access to transportation, they still chose to not respond. So this was uh, Marco Farrell's video from Montecito where uh, they saw the catastrophic flows beginning right on their street and they ran inside and thankfully they were okay. But again, this this is all predicted. This is all, um, well, we didn't know exactly where the flows would happen. The strong likelihood, there were 17 different predicted mud flow um, uh, uh, risk zones just, in Mont just above Montecito alone. This so is this like is the end of the world. The heavy rains in Santa Barbara County triggered mudslides that brought down mountains of mud, dirt, and debris. In Montecito, it all piled up so high, entire communities are unrecognizable. You know, okay, it's going to be bad, but nobody thought this bad. bad. There's rocks the size of houses up on Bella Vista. These officers with poles are poking around for bodies of victims that may still the signs be Signs of this mudslide's power are everywhere you look. Take this tree, for instance. It might be hard to fathom, but this massive piece of wood, bigger and heavier than a city bus, was ripped out of the ground by this mudslide and carried off almost like a feather caught in a gust of wind. We were told to evacuate, but we've been out for 12 days from the fire, so we said we're not leaving because of rain. <laughs> it's an ironic, nervous laugh many around here share. The thought that a rainstorm would be more destructive than a wildfire. Few would have believed it. His name was Bill Patterson. He's 100 years old. They took him out of here, but the water came down. When it came, it, they took a bridge out right on the corner there and came right through his house. Took the end of the house off. The neighbors behind it is gone. It looks like it got several houses back there too. So we just walked back and looked at all of his inside of his house. It's, it's yeah, it changes the way you think about things. You know?